and welcome back to the channel for another video. So what I'm gonna do, uh, my fucking lunch is in the oven. <laughs> All right, so I managed not to burn the house down with my food. Uh, today, first thing I've already done is put all these trims back in that we're missing. So this surround this and a couple underneath and on the other side and that kick panel was out. Much better. Standard VN squeaky door. Now, I have these. These are the exact same interceptors that are already on it, but the rears are 15 by 7 with a 235. And I'm very skeptical whether these are going to fit. One, this is wider, and a wider tire. As I said in the last video, this is with a 205. So I'm not liking my chances, but... Uh, also, having a look under this thing for the first time. As usual, surprises that sellers don't mention. Uh, adjustable pan hard rod, which is cool. Uh, Munro shocks. They look pretty old though. Um, this exhaust. <laughs> I don't know who welded it, but... Have a look at these welds. They're pretty average. So whoever made this exhaust, shame on you. Looks like something I welded. Now back to these wheels. Now uh, the fronts are custom made. I um, think they're three and a half or fours with a 16580. As you can see, very skinny. So we'll see how these look on it. These look so much better on the back. With a bigger tire but as i suspected my license just skims through there so the good thing is i can just shave this lip the tiniest bit and it should be all right so anyway i'll put the rest on now that i've put the other side on this one actually has a fair bit of room. So the good thing is, because these have adjustable, this has an adjustable panhard rod, uh, I can just lengthen it and it should bring it over a little bit this way and I won't have to touch the guards. So super, super happy with that. So with the panhard rod moved over, now this side, which is even with the other side, Plenty of room. Didn't have to touch the guts. So as I said on the front, VT brake upgrade. Braided lines and slotted rotors, which I didn't know. Um, also has new end links. And these springs look brand new as so well, these dust boots. And it still has guard liners. So bonus. Also just noticed, New castor rod bushes and a coolant leak. Ah, here we go. Now I was hoping I would find under here that there was a fair bit of room, but there isn't. So these headers, that's just how they're going to have to sit and I'm going to have to deal with it. Most likely raise the front of the car. Uh, more things I noticed under here. New rack boots, inner and outer rack ends or tie rod ends, whatever you want to call them. And also, it has this plate. Between the bell housing and the motor, which I'm assuming from my VY that I had is to relocate the starter to the passenger side to get clearance for headers because they used to be on this side. So another bonus. What a difference that makes. So skinny's on the front. 
and these just fit on the back. Very, very close. And it actually raised it a little bit front and back. So I can actually get in the garage without it scraping. And I'm actually going to go up one in the front spring. So it's got SSLs in the front. I'm going to go SLs. And hopefully that should sort out the header clearance. So much better. So now moving on to these rear wheel wells, which when the wheels are on, because this car's white, this really, really sticks out and it looks really shit. So I'm not going to show painting them as that's a bit boring, but I'll just show you a before and after. I have done the other side already. I've got the shocks out. And this is the other side already done. What a massive difference. Now I'm using this uh, Stone Shield anti-chip coating. Uh, it comes out pretty thick and dries really quick. It's like a satin finish. So, so what a difference that is. It'll look so much better with the wheel back on. Now I understand you have problems when you buy new cars and you know you're gonna have to fix a couple of things. Wasn't like that when I went to look at the car. I'm assuming water pump. It's pretty common on LSs, and thank God they're very, very easy to do. And pretty cheap as well, so. I'm gonna have a proper look, but I'm assuming water pump. Again, I'm not gonna show the process, but I mentioned last video that when this car was painted, they painted the sill panels white. Now these are supposed to be satin black uh, from here down, so. I've done one side. Just waiting for it to dry. So. Finally they sold. What an absolute nightmare selling those was. Dealing with people that cannot read ads is the worst. So someone's gonna pick those up now. So now I'm on the hunt for stock interior. And I also have the Venetians out so I can paint them black as well, which I'll show you. Unfortunately, I ran out of black paint. Another thing, I've got a pressure tester so I can figure out where this leak is coming from. Now, I thought it was water pump, and it was actually this top radiator hose underneath here uh, wasn't done up tight enough. Like it felt tight, but I just nipped it up and it stopped the leak. So I'm not sure if the end of the hose is damaged. I might just put a top hose on it anyway. So, don't have to change the water pump. Good news. So as soon as the Coulsons went, I was on the hunt for stock van executive trim. And believe it or not, a guy messaged me on Facebook that he had some. Uh, they were really, really fairly priced, good condition, and literally five minutes down the road. So I was so happy, I picked these up straight away. So this is the trim that's supposed to be in the car. Now these are in really good nick, like they got stains and stuff, but that's fine. I'll um, steam clean everything out. Uh, the only things I can pick on it are the piping here, which I can get replaced, that's no problems. And just the stitching here has come apart. So all that is nothing, I can get that fixed very, very easily. Unfortunately, I don't have much room here, so I'm gonna have to put this stuff in the car and then later pull it back out when I need a steam cleaner because my work is closed so I can't go get the steam cleaner to do it unfortunately. So we'll chuck this stuff in the car and uh, I'm sure it will look much better.
super, super happy with these seats. It looks so much better when they match. Well, they match the car, they match the door trims and everything. A lot of people were saying, why the hell would you get rid of HSV Coulson's to put stock trim back in? Well, I, re see, I reckon this looks so much better than the Coulson's. It just didn't suit this car at all. I love it. So happy with that. I can't wait to steam clean them. It's gonna, the interior is going to look amazing. I just need a steering wheel. If anyone has a grey VN Calais steering wheel, I would jump on that straight away. Here's a bit of a better look uh, without the sun all over it. So as you can see, they're a bit stained, they need some love, but I will get the steam cleaner from work. Another thing good about these seats is, you can lift them up and down. Being so short with the Coulson's because they're electric, um, that obviously wasn't hooked up in this car, so it was at a set height, which was a bit too low for me. So thank God, these can be raised up. Super happy with these seats. Very, very happy. Also, this other side sill panel is now done. Back to black how it should be. Something so simple, just little things like this really lifts this car back up. Uh, also, rear Venetian back in black. A lot better. Um, I think I might leave the side ones out. I'm not sure yet, just because they sit like shit and rattle. And it looks alright without them, so I'm not sure yet. Uh, might end this one there, because I don't want to cram too much shit into one video. People get bored. Try to keep it around the 10 minute mark, so. See you guys next video.